hit the record button as I just did here. And of course, it's going to be Rob versus Min Min. We haven't seen a Min Min in top eight in some time strides. Yeah, but it never surprised me to see one in top eight. Carries yeah. good, especially online. It's one of those characters that when we come offline, I think we'll all finally experience the true wrath of Min Min. While it comes to online, things tend to change a little bit here, but enough of that here. It is 8th Bit Man versus Min Min. Now, funny enough, I actually remember Abe Man playing this exact matchup versus uh, one of the other Min Min players that got pretty far in this tournament. Oh, what a catch. Well, what a catch. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's the thing about Min Min, she has a, a really, really good time being on the ground. Decent recovery, the problem is that her tether has a very, very weird opportunities where it grabs a ledge and it's not that great. So if she's too far off, she won't grab it like Joker or Byleth. It's very, very narrow, I would say. Yeah, honestly, um... Oh, dude, that's so strong. <laughs> so strong. Like, with... How much Min Min gets harassed off stage in this matchup by Rob? She makes it up by how much damage and how early she can kill just off of a few hits. Yeah. And I... uh, on stage isn't so hard either, I would say. Yeah. She has like the range to keep Rob out pretty well, actually. Ooh. I'm always worried for the, the megawatt arm too. That move, especially with Rage, incredibly strong, but wow. You're not even with good DI, you're gonna live that setup. Great down tilt into the gyro, combo into the up smash. You gotta be very careful at the ledge here. Ooh. Oh, yeah, yeah you're about why? to that megawatt. It's so powerful. Yeah, oh. even without Rage, that killed incredibly early. That's the thing about Ape Man too, he's been such a veteran of the game for such a long time that he's very, really well in situations where he can get confirms off things like Charbo, which what, where he saw where he took the stock here. Big problem that he's having against Min Min here is kind of in the neutral because that range that she can challenge Rob is relatively safe for her. So it all depends on when Ape Man can actually get in and pull those crazy combos that you saw when he took stock one. Yeah, Min Min recognized that as well. He's like, okay, if this guy gets in on me, his combos are pretty deadly if he gets me off stage. I, I'm just not going to let that happen easily. Yeah. Uh, like, in this situation can, here, Min Min kind of understood, like, I have to worry actually about Gyro. Because me interacting with it is actually a lot for Rob. Finally, neutral air landing, but Ape Man does not catch the jump afterwards. He's not going to panic. Oh. <laughs> nice catch on the roll. Still living, barely. Can he close it out, though? Anyone's game right now? You gotta finish all your Thanksgiving food before nice. you can go to Black Friday, and there is game one in Ape Man's hands. Yeah, really, really good timing on the back air to cover. Uh, roll, neutral get up. That hitbox is pretty huge, so very difficult. Very difficult to avoid that. Hey, Hungry Box, I would say Pink Nerds. I don't know about the purple. I'm not a fan of purple anything. Like, I'm not a fan of grape flavored stuff. Like, I hate grape soda, I hate grape flavored candy. I, I hate it because, like, when I think of grape-flavored stuff, I think about cough syrup and how it's dominantly grape-flavored. So I will definitely tell you pink nerds because usually they're, like, a nicer flavor. Uh, I don't really eat that candy that much or that often. I can not really tell you. I will tell you that when, I used to go to, when, when we all used to go to movie theaters, I remember nerds had, like, a nerd's rope, and that was, like, so good, bro. I know that was, like, a harmful thing to go to. Oh, thank you so much, by the way, for the compliments here, Cowbello. But um, when I would go to movie theaters as a kid and get the nerd's rope, I know that would cause so much cavities that I'd brush my teeth that night, for sure. I've never even heard of what you're talking about. Look, look Google it, man. Google it. Anyways, that shows my age. That shows our age, at least in this place here. Uh, let's go to game, to game two here, man. 8-Bit Man with point one on the board did an excellent job fighting against Min Min once again with the gyro trap, and he's looking Ooh. for the early stock here. Oh, uh, man. He Directional air dodge. He wanted to uh, catch the gyro. I mean, like, luckily he didn't leave him dying, but man, he probably could have killed Min Min if, you know, he got his setup to work properly there. Yeah. And uh, now you can see the insane damage output of Min Min already pretty much at kill percent. Got hit, like, what, four times? Yeah. And no commentator oh. bias here, man, but Ape and Man, like I said, right, he's very well aware of, okay, I kind of have to play this one a little bit more close quarters combat. You kind of do see him use those projectiles. Why? Because he forces Min Min to actually go for jumps, hold shield, 
and then buy him time to get closer oh. to go for things like forward. Can he get the stock here? And he finally nice. does. Nice. Snipe the jump, so it forced him in the direction where Aerodash to get close enough to the stage. Then he punched that accordingly. Um, Rob needs to capitalize anytime he gets min-min off stage. He just has way too many tools not to, and her recovery is way too susceptible to let her come back for free. So I, I really like that from uh, Ape Man. Mm. Oh, terrible, terrible buffer there. Really unfortunate. But uh, Ape Man's going to take that SD all the way to the bank. There's the Megawatt, though. Still not that stock. He's not going to take much for Min Main to actually, you know, bring this back. Yeah, that he was, was good on Min Main, too. Oh, sorry, really quick. That was good on Min Main, too, because they went for the back throw into the quick arm because it's actually true at certain percents depending on weight. So you have to be careful because you can lose stocks uh, back nope. up. Dead. But that's, <laughs> he's dead. <laughs> Min Min's kill power and damage output is some of the best in the game easily. I just don't feel a lot of people realize that. <laughs> this character does so much percent so fast. Oh my goodness. See, look at that. Look Terrible at that. Look at that. position to be in off stage. Let me just throw you out here. Get this powered up dragon arm. And you're dead. 47%, I think. Yep. And I talked about how that back throw is true is a true combo depending on characters' percents. And then you can just hit them with another aerial and then take the sock. You have to be very careful depending on your character weight. It's usually about early percent. I've seen it anywhere from z from I kind of want to say 11% or 0% to about 40-ish. And then it stops being true, but it's all character dependent on weight here. Specifically for Rob, since he's such a big hurt box, that's where it does a lot of damage to him. And Min Pain does not hesitate to pull that card out and take the W here. But I talked about it too. Ape Man's name of the game here, force Min Min to hold the shield and then get into the close range because we saw how game one went for him. As long as you played close range, it's literally stocks for Ape Man there. Yeah. But uh, I don't know. I just really like to see that these guys are going back and forth in their strategy. Oh, definitely, definitely. I don't I don't want to see slobber knockers, man. I want to see game fives. Nothing but great games and great sets here. But speaking of sets here, of course, best of five. This is game three here. Like I talked about, it's a deciding factor for both players to get that extra point because you get a lot of counter picks involved here as well. So let's start off off the bat here with 28% on the ape it, man. Climbing with 34. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's it. Oh, no, not yet, now? not yet. Yeah, but he's in a bad spot. Oh, no yep. jump. Excellent <laughs> stuff on ape it. You can see that he waited for him to continuously still be in that bad spot. I talked about how Min Min recovery, pretty solid, but it has just that really weird narrow opportunities where if you're too far off the right, Unlike Byleth and Joker, you will not make it back. Yep. And uh, AB Man recognizes that. Nice. Continue the pressure at the ledge, making it very difficult for Min Man to get back to center stage. Good aggressive option, though. And get some real estate back. But uh, he has to do something to get substantial you know, stage control here to get this stock. AB Man's making it very difficult right now. Yeah. Again, another Nair. Oh, we, oh. oh, watch out for that dragon bang shot. <laughs> Avian Man actually is just like, okay, I dodged the arm. I'm fine. But then he forgot that he can just shoot this projectile at you. Okay. Oh, what a play. What a play. Really Down smash the here. Oh, that arm rotor covering so many options in the gyro for good <laughs> measure, man. What I'm an insane to talk to. I'm just telling you, man, Ape Man is playing with some heat there because you know there was some heat into that punishes that he had, man. He wanted his Min Min to be gone. Yeah, his edge guards have been almost perfect in this matchup. Nice tech chase there, send him off stage. I like the aggressive play for Min Min to get back onto the ledge, but then he gets grabbed here. Okay, again, finds himself back at the ledge. Oh, the roll gets red super hard. Not going to die, but Ape Man still has complete control right now. Whatever, whatever Jordan's secret stuff is, he's, Ape it Man is drinking, man, he took a full swing of it, because look at that lead he has. There's the back throw. He's going to be fine as long as he doesn't jump. Yeah, careful situation there. She can catch you for those high recoveries. Oh, good DI on the up air. Yep. Very, very difficult to DI that up air there, but Min Main definitely demonstrates that, especially with Town and City being such a huge uh, ceiling. Oh, another gyro sniper, good measure. Avid Man taking no chances off stage. Anytime Min Min's trying to come back, he's making it damn near impossible. As Great stuff. Should, as he should too, even when he's coming back on the stage, the characteristic that I love that Avid Man never fails to do with Rob is 
He will run the timer on that jet fuel. He will also use the gyro to force you to hold shield. He'll throw out that laser to have you press shield. He's always looking at options to like, okay, this is how I come back on stage. And that demonstrates of what you can do with the character here. Ape Man is never shy of demonstrating what you can do as Rob when you're in disadvantage off stage here. And Min Main definitely yeah. demonstrates what to do when you're at advantage on stage. Yeah. Even in spite of that, though, Min, Min Main's been getting some really early kills off stage just because, you know, even with Rob having all these mix ups and how he can fight off stage, he's still a uh, sitting duck if he, gets, if he gets caught. Yeah, and the right. extra boost that you get from the up B, you can cover so many high recoveries. Rob and Snake definitely fall into that situation here. But let's go to game four. Apeit Man on set point here. Min Main with the final chance to kind of bring things back here. This is Kalos, the bigger stage here. Kind of gives different opportunities to kind of run the clock, but also see how projectiles can make a play here. Yeah, I would think he likes this stage just because he can keep out Rob a little bit easier. Just make it a little bit more difficult for Apeit Man to get in his face. Also has these side platforms to mix up his recovery too. He wants to choose to go high as well. Nice talk about that earlier with Ape Man here. He throws, throws out that gyro with a really good purpose here. Hold shield. So much shield pressure there. I like the idea of having the Megawai here. Again, yeah, it, it just has so much shield pressure and if it does hit around this percent, can lead to the stock. Ooh, Ooh. and he gets it narrowly at the last hit here. Good for the forward air. Excellent play. Ape Man with an excellent level of aggression with projectiles. You see that he uses laser to cause Min Min to go all the way to the right, left side of the stage, and then he pushes that aggression with each every, and single move here. Yep. Uh, nice. You can see that, that Mega Watt kind of coming in here. That's a lot of damage on Rob. Gets a tech chase here. 148 to 68% here, almost with the up smash. Yep, you gotta be careful with that with that burial, I would like to call it, just because it is using the special button as an aerial there. Yeah, even the Megawatt to kill at that percent is not anything super special, honestly. That's such a high percent. Most most of his moves would have killed. Yep. Kind of scary here, though. Oh, looking for the confirm after the neutral air there. Would have been great to find it. Usually you can do that with the Ram Ram, but Ape Man on the catch here. Up smash, 52%. Yeah, he's just been really consistent at punishing uh, most things at the ledge as well. Honestly, he's just showing all the tools that Rob has, to be honest. <laughs> Oh, using that extra little bit of a jump here to sneak the laser. Sneaky, sneaky. Down smash, though. What shall we talk about how Rob has such a big hurt box? Okay, 35. Not too bad. A couple things you can actually do against Rob down tilt that I've seen some players able to pull off. Never forget, you can actually angle the shield, and you can angle it low to avoid getting shield poked by Rob's down tilt. Yeah, people should get better at angling their shield in general, but... Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Min main. Great comeback right now. Yeah. Oh, Ape Man narrowly sneaks in here. He gets the center stage, but unfortunately, a little bit of a trade-off here. <sighs> Almost with the catch. Uh, I want I want to say this is Min, -min, Min Main's uh, kind of game to win here, because I'm seeing Ape Man kind of get a little bit lost here you know he's looking for the quick and early stock he's able to find it finally oh, with the rotor and he nice. does oh man min main so close to bringing that to game five but it's like you're never safe off stage in this matchup 